Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today we're going to be talking about suit colors. In particular, I'm going to talk about nine suit colors and I'm going to start in order of most useful, most versatile and go down to the suit that, well, I guess if you've got 20 or 30 suits in your wardrobe that you would probably want to have a suit maybe of this color in case you get invited to a special type of party. So guys, if you like this video, if you find it useful, please click on the like button, leave me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're going to probably get an email notification or you want to make those sure those are set up so that you get my ghost videos. I'll put those out for guys that are subscribers and I want to thank them for being a part of this channel and for definitely coming in and uh, letting me know how I can be better, what they want to see next and uh, what they think of the videos I put up. So guys, let's go ahead and start this off. So number one, what do you think is the most common, the most versatile suit. And this is probably very North American because you could argue number one and number two, I might as well say them together, navy blue, charcoal gray. Navy blue number one, charcoal gray number two. Now that's my own personal preference. Why do I put navy blue number one? Well, throughout the United States, this is the de facto color. If you walk into any store, you're going to see it. The great thing about that is because it, there are so many out there, you can wear this and if your goal is to fit in, if your goal is to not draw attention to yourself, if your goal is to just go in there, do a great job and be recognized for the effort you put in, then navy is fine. Another great thing about navy, because it's so versatile, in a sense, you're able to, if you're going to get something custom made, if you're going to get something uh, that's cut to fit you. If you're going to go with something that's a little bit more fashion forward, you can actually have fun with some of the style aspects, but keep it in that simple navy blue and actually it's not going to stand out too much. So an example, I knew a gentleman that ordered a two button navy blue suit for me, but the one thing he did, he went with peak lapels on all of his jackets and it actually looked really sharp. Now, a lot of people would not necessarily know it looked like a normal navy suit, but the fit was impeccable and he had those peak lapels and it was something that I, I thought it was a really nice look. Now let's go to charcoal gray. Now charcoal gray and one of the things against navy is that it can make a young man look a bit younger. Now charcoal gray, if you're a young man, this is a great color for you. It's going to add a bit of age to you, make you look a little bit more respectable. It's very easy to match and that's the great thing. Because it's on the gray, the black and white scale basically, it has no color in it. So you can match it with a wide range of colors. And the problem with that though is if you're an older man, if you're a light colored man, then gray almost can pull some color out of you. So you got to be careful with it. However, it is incredibly versatile just like the navy suit. It is one of the most common suits out there sold and you can pretty much find a charcoal gray out there all over the place. So we've talked about navy, charcoal gray. What is number three? Gray. Okay, there is a difference between charcoal gray and gray. Talking about Cambridge gray, this is medium gray, so it's going to be a little bit lighter than charcoal and Cambridge gray is just as versatile as charcoal and I like these three suits at the top because if you had these three and if you were to double them, change up a few things on the style, so all of a sudden you have six suits, you could triple them and change up a few other things on the style, maybe change, you know, add a ticket pocket here or there, uh, change up, you know, go with the lapel, go with the three button versus a two button, maybe throw in a double breasted, all of a sudden you have nine suits, three different colors and to be honest, that would be a very, very versatile wardrobe. Now medium gray, Cambridge gray, it is not as formal as charcoal gray or even navy blue because it is a little bit lighter but to be honest, we're, there are very few places in the world where that is ever going to become an issue. So you can pretty much wear it any place you would wear the other top two suits. Now we get into suit number four which is light gray. Light gray is distinctively lighter than its brethren. This is great for summer, fall, spring wear. Not so much winter, you know, it's just something that you don't want to be wearing light colors in the winter. Uh, I mean, you couldn't stand, you can stand out. But the thing with light gray is it is a more casual suit. However, I'm assuming that you've already got five to six suits in your wardrobe. Maybe you wear suits Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday. A great light gray suit is actually in many places, especially during the warmer weather, you're going to be able to pull this off with ease. It's going to break up the monotonous uh, dark colored suits. Another great thing with light colored suits, and I'm not going to get into patterns too much, but as the color gets lighter, you can start to bring in patterns and they're much more visible and you can start to have fun. You can even, you know, with a herringbone, 
it's, it's going to be a little bit easier to detect. It's going to give it a bit of texture, and I really do like the uh, light gray. So that's why I gave it number four. Now, number five, some of you guys have probably been wondering, where is this suit at? Because you've got it in your wardrobe. Maybe it was the first suit you bought, but black. Now, I'm not going to recommend black for every type, basically every skin type out there. I like black if you've got black hair. If you have a, a darker complexion, then you can usually pull it off. I don't like black for light colored, light skinned, red hair, hair gentlemen. It's just something that can pull a little bit of the color out of them. No, but black deserves a high spot and I gave it a relatively high spot because I could have pushed it down because I do not think it is a foundation suit. But if you are ordering black tie and technically black tie is a suit. So for black tie, black needs to be there. And so if you're going to go with a tuxedo, you're going to go with anything like that, go with black. When it comes to black suits, I don't think there is versatile simply because it's so stark of a contrast with anything else you're wearing. I do have a black suit and I pretty much wear it to funerals and uh, that's about it. So let's go from number five to number six, brown, dark brown. Now, I've heard a few things, you know, don't wear brown in town, you'll hear that rule. I think dark brown, if you have brown hair, if you're a little bit darker, or if you're red, uh, you've got a little bit of a, of a ruddier complexion, you, blonde hair, you can pull off brown. And this is a great, really, I think it adds a bit of color. Now, the thing with brown is you have to be careful because it is clearly not a formal suit. So don't, if you're visiting someone in New York City, you go into an event, don't wear a brown suit. This is something, maybe you could if you're creative and if everyone is dressed down, but understand this is a bit more casual of a suit color. However, match it with a gold tie, start to bring in a few other, you know, lavender colors with the shirts, all of a sudden, wow, you're really going to, uh, I, I think it is a great sixth suit to have. Okay, so number seven is going to be tan, and tan technically is a shade of brown. However, lighter shade, and you can go tan khaki. Uh, I think it was recently President Obama got some attention for wearing a khaki suit. I don't think this should be one of his top ones, but I do think in the right occasion, especially summer, hot weather, warm weather, it is a great secondary right below the light gray suit to have and can spice up a wardrobe, especially if you're a man that wears suits, you know, Monday through Friday. So number eight, blue, and I'm talking true blue. Now, if you go look at, uh, you know, Prince William, Prince Harry, uh, those guys, they wear this color. It's it's a harder to find. I like this color. If you actually go check out the Prime Minister of Russia, Mendeleev, uh, and uh, Putin, I think, actually pulls this off as well. Seems like the Russians really like this color. This true blue, you see it a lot more over in Europe and parts of Asia. The thing is, and one of the reasons I gave it such a low ranking, even though I like it, especially for light-colored, red-haired, uh, blonde gentlemen, but the reason I give it such a low ranking is it's very hard to find. Most of you all, if you want a suit like this, you're going to have to go custom. There's only a few Holland and Cher I know makes, makes this, uh, this color and uh, but very few uh, companies actually are putting out this type of fabric. The final number nine, so who is at the bottom of the list? The white suit. So unless you're Tom Wolf and he made that his signature look, the white suit pretty much is going to be an oddity. It's going to be something that you're going to draw attention right to yourself. Now, if you get invited to a white party, this became, I think, popular in the last couple of years, a white summer party, uh, and you or you really want to draw attention to yourself and you're going to be giving a presentation or a speech, go for it. There you go. Uh, but I would not have it as one of my first 15 suits. So I would probably even a little bit farther down. You're not going to really catch me in a white suit, gentlemen. All right, guys, that summarizes it. I left off a few others, I know, and I didn't even talk about patterns, uh, but I think I wanted to keep it focused on color. I'm going to support this with an article. Go check out the article. I'm going to go into a lot more detail, and that's going to be over at realmenrealstyle.com. Uh, I'll link to it down below. Guys, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.